Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Clumsy Gardener. Today I've mostly been outside doing a lot of maintenance work that I needed to get done, such as pruning, moving plants from smaller pots into larger pots. But one of the things that I still need to do is plant new seedlings for this season. And for that, we're gonna head indoors, which is probably a good thing because it looks like it's gonna rain anyway. So hey, stick around. As the rain clouds roll in, I head indoors to start some seeds in various containers using plastic packaging, yogurt pots, and even an old egg carton. Today, we're planting eggplant, bitter melon, and the Trinidad scorpion pepper seeds we saved from last episode. We'll look at how different seeds can be planted to best suit these containers. For the egg carton, carefully cut the lid and flap so you can use the base for planting individual seeds. For the other containers, be sure to make holes at the bottom to drain excess water. When your containers are ready, get a pen and label them. Then, once you have it all ready, time to get the soil. Ideally, you'd want your potting soil to be quite fine, but my mix, although on the coarse side, has done the trick in the past, and I'm counting on it to do the same this year. Quick tip, use fresh or at least well-protected soil when germinating, especially indoors, to prevent potential pests from harming your plants or weeds from growing instead. First, the eggplant. Make sure that the soil is nice and loose on top. Make holes about one centimeter deep. Carefully put about six to eight seeds in. Not all may sprout, and less healthy looking ones can always be thinned out if necessary. For the bitter melon, which I'll plant in these yogurt pots, put two seeds in each one. Plant them on opposite corners to give them some more space. Last up is the Trinidad scorpion pepper. Put one seed in each cup, under about half to one centimeter of soil. As these seeds are fresh, barely a week old, they should start sprouting very quickly. Once they start growing, each cup can be cut out from the egg carton and transplanted directly into its new home as card paper will biodegrade. If needed, add an additional layer of soil on top to make sure seeds are not exposed and are planted at the right depth. After that, get the soil thoroughly wet and place them on a warm windowsill. Be sure to keep the soil moist. In a few weeks, we should start to see the seedlings pop through. And when they've established themselves, they'll get to join the rest of their cohort outside to weather the elements. But until then, we'll keep them safe, right here where they'll have a chance to grow. Thank you for joining us on The Clumsy Gardener. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to stick around as we continue to grow and expand what we have here at the garden, as well as visit other green projects throughout Asia to learn more about what's happening in the urban agricultural space. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. It says purple. I promise that's what it says. 